Welcome back, Rich Nation. My name is AJ, and today we're going to be continuing Hunter Hunter episodes 9 and 10. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, hit that notification bell. You can also check out these episodes early and uncut over on patreon.com slash AJRich123. Definitely check that out, and let's go ahead and start. <laughs> You probably have some other type of advantage then. Wait, okay, that's not gonna be fair. He's, you know what he's probably gonna do? He's probably going to, like, those candles are probably not equal. You see he's grabbing from the bottom. It's probably, like, one's, like, one is longer than the other one. What a bunch of bullcrap. Though it could, yeah, it could be a trap where the one of them lights the like the longer one lights faster or something. Either way, it's bullcrap. You got to try to think how they would do this. Like if you were the one that was having the candles in your hand and doing this, how would you set this up? He's probably been thinking how to do this forever, right? He has those candles in his in his pants, but he's definitely set this up where it could be bad either way, possibly. I think maybe in this case that's better. Oh no! This is gonna go bad. Maybe this could be right though, because he would have assumed you would have chosen the shorter one because of the suspicion of the longer one. This guy is just way too happy to watch this crap. I guess there was other factors like that that I didn't think of. What? Is he controlling that? Well, he probably made those candles, so... Yeah, he's gonna know there's something inside. I knew there was no right answer to this. I'm guessing all of them had been. Ah, uh, okay. So he had to that were either one was going to be oil soaked. What's he going to do? I mean, they didn't say he couldn't do something. <laughs> That's awesome! Actually, I didn't even think he could do that. He's more intelligent than he comes off as. Cause that, that was using big brain power. Even something that's so simple as blowing out the candle in the midst of it, you're not gonna think of that normally. I think that was just the only choice he had if he couldn't fight. Who is this dude? Oh, what the fuck? Why does he have hearts, like, tattooed on his chest? Multiple crimes, including fraud and blackmail. What is he, a part zombie or something? Oh. Well, it's not love like I thought. I thought maybe it was like 19 people he loved. Well, he loved them to literal death. This guy, uh, to each their own? He's definitely beyond help. He's really not, though. I'm actually kind of surprised that they keep let the last two matches, they've let them, like, let the opponent choose what they want to do. Because they're giving them a complete... I mean, it might just show, like, how confident 
in just you know how they roll how how gone in all them roll but at the same time like i i'm just surprised because they have an, a ridiculous advantage whatever they choose they're always gonna choose something that is good for them and in this case it's gonna be an all-out bloodbath <laughs> Maybe he's not used to people being into fighting to the death. I think that's probably fine to him. He seems more scared out of the two. <laughs> he's really doesn't have him locked in at all. Like, he's so off base. Uh, instant roids. All right. See, they don't look at like somebody just bulky and screaming as uh somebody ridiculously strong that's how we know this isn't dragon ball z <laughs> muscles don't always mean strength compared to i guess these kids <laughs> oh what is backward spider with a heart is this something bad Look like, it looks like he's going to become Spider-Man. Oh. Maybe just no one challenges him because of that. Maybe he's actually weak. Possibly. Oh, maybe weak compared to him. The eyes. Uh, oh! Oh, shit! Yeah, no chance! Muscle doesn't mean shit! God damn! Oh, he knows that well. God damn! Seeing that really pissed him off like a fake, the way he looks at it like a fake member. He really saw that as something absolutely horrible, like the worst thing you could do to him. What? It's wow. Never bring spiders around him then. Scaring someone with a spider never could be more dangerous. What? 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 Wait, a botch? I don't think um plastic surgery was gonna help him. <laughs> it wasn't a bunch of like scars. It wasn't a bunch of war scars. Okay, well, I, first of all, seeing Kurapika like kind of changing, like the way he changed so fast by seeing that spider, and now we're learning anything to do with that, uh, with a spider in general, that can set him off is really scary because he's very calculated very um he thinks about all his actions we we hear him like kind of go through like okay this is the best decision why we should do this and then but once he saw something uh you know a spider or something to do with that troop he immediately turned to instant like instant kill mode like it was a flip of a switch that is somebody you do not want to piss off um I also thought it was hilarious that all of them were really not really taking that guy seriously. 
And from the way he was talking, I was starting to kind of get that feeling as well, not to really take him too seriously because he was talking like, oh, they should be scared of me. They see all this. It's the guy that puts on like a billion tattoos and bitch and like, you know, makes himself look insanely scary. But in reality, he's not a fighter at all. That's kind of how this guy was really, it, really like here. I have all this scary stuff that should be freaky. I've killed this many people. And this is some scary um group that you should be afraid of that I'm going to put on here. But uh, yeah, he was all talk, though. The, the I think the icing on the cake was the uh, <laughs> the freaking plastic it, that that stuff, you know, was just plastic surgery that uh, failed plastic surgery. That that was hilarious. <laughs> I don't know why that was just the funniest part. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, because it was a match to the death. Is she gonna kill him? It's a, it was a match to the, it was a death match. I knew it. But he did surrender. No, no, he did surrender. He, he did though. He said, uh, didn't he say I surrender or I give up? I swore he said that in the last episode. Am I crazy? Just wake him up and make him surrender. I mean, that's good for the prisoners because that'll be giving them, you know, more time, and it's worse for them, though. How can they talk about killing somebody so, like... Though, when we saw what he was doing to those guys, it doesn't surprise me he wouldn't care. These are some scary kids. You're gonna leave it to that? Oh God, oh God! So you have to do the old fashioned vote. It's kind of, I know they can't go on until it's done, but it's scary that they're, he's looking at it like that. I swore he said it. He just wants to make everybody's life harder. I swear. I mean, it's kind of true. So it wouldn't, yeah, it wouldn't matter even if. And that's how they start fighting. And he loves this, so. Oh, yeah, that is true. That's the other thing, too. Like, everyone knows. Like, if they had done it that way, then, well, you would have known he would. If it was still one one and four, you would have known uh, that he had picked it. But still, like, it, it does make a lot of sense. What, it, Unfortunately, it makes a lot of sense the way he's talking here. Uh, he kind of put himself out there where everyone's going to reject most of his answers now and everything. And he he's loving this for sure. He just doesn't even care. He doesn't care if they fail. Uh, so his is turning. He gets a 1v1? Oh, he's an examiner. The guy that he tried to kill that they were talking about before. Holy shit. And they put this on the test? They make this part of his test? That's so fucked up. Uh, don't you need four arms to do that? Unless you're... I. Okay, I guess he's just gonna throw him. Oh, 
I mean, can you keep up with these so you, these don't come back and hit you? Oh. Oh, but we know he does like illusion type stuff. Or maybe he's just gonna, oh, maybe he's just gonna take it. And all that time meant shit. Okay. He is definitely the scariest. Oh, 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 fuck. God damn. Okay, that time it definitely showed him killing him. That head, that was not, I mean, it's censored because it doesn't show blood, but that head definitely flew. <laughs> oh God. I, if there was any doubt, like I, I was pretty damn sure he, uh, we saw death uh, like an episode or two ago, but yeah, they're, they're just straight up killing people in this show. There's major differences. You can, you can, uh, you can censor all you want, but this is obvious that there's death in here. Holy shit. This is, yeah, this is a lot more mature than, uh, some of the other shows I've watched, or at least it's, it's showing it kind of on screen. I mean, it was in the background in shadows, but that was a head flying. That head went far. <laughs> uh, I guess he finished the job. He just, I mean, in theory, his challenge was actually really tough because, well, you would think for a normal person, you're facing like the old examiner that you tried to kill before. They like, they set it up perfectly for him. Is Really? Can someone go check on him? They're just wasting time at this point, and it's beneficial to them. Well, if she knows for sure, then it's a it's a shit bet. Ah, so she doesn't have to fight. That is not good. Ah, uh, ikanimo,彼女らしい勝負しなきゃ。いきなりタワー脱出の残り時間が。that's what they want obviously that's what he wants for sure that's like his bread and butter everybody fighting and he'll keep laughing mm. why would she bet otherwise though it might be smart the way she acted she was acting like he's alive because why else make the bet? And they'll still have a... Yeah. It's kind of a win-win. That's what I was saying before. It's win-win for them. It's good for them either way. Oh. Yeah, he's playing like he's asleep. Maybe tickle him? Or throw, oh, throw him off. Act like you're gonna throw him off. God damn. Ever, everyone's pretty smart. They. So it's good. Yeah, it's good for them. The only person this is bad for, <laughs> the, the only person this is bad for is him. He's gonna. 
He's gonna end the charade and yep. Oh, uh, oh shit. Now he has to save him though, because if he does die, <laughs> that's what he was betting on. He wins the round. Yep. That's the only way he does that. Or oh shit yeah i didn't even think about that holy shit that would come to his advantage him just being able to kind of eye it and or look at signs like that so he knew from the very beginning and was playing her like that but he couldn't reveal that information obviously i i love how sm like uh, how smarter all the the main characters kind of are compared to how some of them come off they're a lot smarter than they let on and it, in case when it comes to that that was man that was perfect but what else oh now that's out though you still have to bet on something and it could be anything all right uh this uh, something that i've kind of realized in these episodes not all these challenges are going to be like bloodbath I, you're going to fight to the death even though we did get weirdly we did get one of those even though it didn't end up being like that um everything's going to be different like we in this show i've noticed like some of the fights are yeah there's combat but there's a lot of thinking involved there's a lot of this like uh like a lot of tricks and like ways around the rules there's a lot of um i don't know there, there's just a lot of things you have to think about uh in these tests more than just who wins the fight which is actually kind of a refreshing it feels like you're like trying to solve during these things like you're solving a riddle on top of trying to beat your opponent as well we saw as we saw in these fights with candles and uh with the the way the, the candles worked as well as uh, the way these time, you know, uh, the way they're adding time or getting rid of time. Uh, there's advantages and disadvantages of both groups, but I really did like seeing that. Uh, and it was kind of a good, uh, it's kind of a good thing where not all these tests are the same. We saw they're fighting as a group, right? So they're doing these challenges as a group. But as we saw some of the other people that are taking the test have their own tests to do that are completely different some of the solo guys so that makes me think maybe even some of the other people are going through even different tests they've really kind of figured out like a way of testing everybody individually or as a group and there's probably other examiners not just the guy that's hiding behind there maybe there's other examiners for other people uh I just I I find that very interesting um but it's really kept me on my toes this feels like one of those shows that I can't just kind of, uh, I I feel like I ha really have to pay attention because there's a, a lot a lot of things that have been said when it comes to like how the tests are done or it's just, it's not very black and white when it comes to the fights. Like, it's not like, okay, you beat this guy and then whoever wins, wins. It's very, there's always like these other side things going on as we saw when they were uh, fighting on, uh, in, on the blimp. Uh, and or almost every fight they've had there's been some type of thing involved and some type of thinking involved as well uh and i find i find that that it keeps me uh on my toes for sure but anyway if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe smash that like button hit that notification bell you can also check out these episodes early and uncut over on patreon.com ajrich123 thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time Bye bye